Hi everybody, it's me. Uh, how are you doing? Top of the morning to you. Um, I want to thank everybody's concern about the fires. Um, they are about 40 miles away from where I am. As you know, the one fires that the the fires that are going on now in Mendocino County, I'm in Sonoma County. Um, it's like the largest ever. So. Um, a lot of prayers to the families. There's, I know it's threatening 11,000 structures now, so it's not good. So I wanna send prayers out to everybody. Um, I also wanna tell you I blew it on my last video. I don't know. I was actually in a good mood, I was upbeat, but I made a mistake um, in somehow in the reading, I meant to say, will a Democrat win? Um, I double checked because I accidentally said that, and it said, yes, a Democrat will win as President of the United States. And I also called the, uh, the brothers, I called them Crotch, which I think that's what they are. Everybody says, no, it's Koch brothers. No, it's Crotch brothers. <laughs> so, um, I was, I didn't actually plan on filming. I just got done with a two mile walk with the dogs and kind of wiped plus I have a dentist appointment this afternoon um but I wanted to tell you I threw on Danny O'Connor in Ohio and I show him winning so I have to say it because if I don't get my chance you know a lot of us psychics go eh no I was pretty firm that he's gonna win and uh if he doesn't win and I was wrong but I threw a couple of times and it said yes I also looked at O'Rourke he will definitely beat out Ted Cruz, definitely. There's a lot of trouble coming up for Ted Cruz. Then I was looking at Hope Hicks. Now, for her to get on that plane, let's look logically, you guys. You don't think that her family isn't around her? You don't think they said, wait, wait, be careful about going to meet him? Because you know that's gonna ha how it's going to look to the FBI, because the FBI is on her. They are on her. Um, I see that she's really, remember I told you guys, she wants this all over with because she wants to move on with her life. And I see him bugging her. Come on, come on. He even may have said she might take John Kelly's place. He knew that wasn't going to happen, but he just said it to say it, to lure her in in some sort of way. But he definitely wanted to talk to her for untoward reasons he wanted to kind of check where exactly she, what she was saying or where she's going i can tell you this the day after the meeting with her wasn't that the day that he shut down and he said he wasn't leaving he got so freaking depressed he got i don't know what she told him or what she didn't tell him but he really got depressed so um i'm telling you something's going on here She's definitely feeling frightened. She's been, I don't see a wire. And I, I mean, it's such a stupid move. And I know she has uh, attorneys. I think she cleared it before she met with him. Maybe she even told him she'll tell, tell them when she comes back what he said. But um, he's acting like, oh, we miss you, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's trying to be really nice. She was like one of the only friends he had. Yet he treated her like crap, just like he did with uh, Mr. Cohen. Okay, so I just want you to know this isn't a sexual relationship. You know, he wasn't that great to her, you guys. He, it's not something... I think he was... The more she's away from him, the more she realizes what a lot of work he is. I do think she believes in his message, but... She is a little bit, like, with the children thing. I think that upset her. And I don't know if she's still with that guy, the guy that got fired. But it feels like she has a relationship and she wants to move forward. And she kind of likes how he fusses over her. I don't know what this is. She sort of likes it. So, you know, I do see she went. I do see she shut up. I see that she's not telling him anything. No matter how much he prodded. And maybe even suggested don't be asking me these questions something happened that really put him in a tailspin so he knows something's up okay that i saw okay now i just want to ask about that ex-judge janine 
you know who she is. The one with the crazy look. The one that just wrote the book. I just want to know what's going to happen to her because nothing could be better if she's brought down. Oh, my God. Tell me about the judge, Janine. Is it Peru or Peru? Who knew? I used to watch her show. When You know, she had one of those judge shows. She seemed so nice and logical. She ended up being a cray-cray. I don't know why all these people with Trump end up being a cray-cray. So tell me about Janine. I just want to know. So O'Connor and O'Rourke, according to my cards earlier today, definitely a yes. All right? She's trying to grab in money while, she's, while she can because she's getting stopped in mid-track. Ooh. The demon is upon her. Um, well, this is good news because she's looking real disappointed at things that are happening. So she might be all tied up in the, oh, because of Trump, we're going to win. And I see a lot of disappointment, you guys. So uh, she's getting money. She's doing monies. Like the more she talks crazy, the more money she makes. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't see jail. Sorry, you guys. I see... That's a lot of sadness. Does she have a daughter? Does anybody know? I see a lot of sadness. And there's a woman around her that's very sad. It could be a daughter or a sister or something. Okay. And um, let's ask about blue eyeshadow. Oh, uh, Rose did a thing on her. Uh, Kellyanne Conway with the blue eye. I used to wear blue eyeshadow back in the, in the day. Yardley. Remember that product, Yardley? So, um, Kellyanne Conway. They just sit up there and lie. They don't care. Let me just tell you another story. But anyway, Rosie did a thing on her. And I was cracking up because I didn't have, I don't have blue eyeshadow. But I thought, wouldn't that be funny for her to go up on just for wearing the thick blue eyeshadow? <laughs> we all need to do that one day, you guys, just to make fun of her. Okay. Although that's not kind, is it? Please forgive me. Tell me about Kelly and Conway. What's going to happen to her as the Trump empire falls? Let's look. Ooh, 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 you guys. Oh, she's one of the ones going down. She is one of the ones going down. The tower is upon her. Everything she thinks she knows is about ready to explode. And Mueller is right there. <laughs> so, yeah, she just better get her ducks, duck it straight. It's really bad. She's not, she'll even be suicidal. She's so overwhelmed. It, it's, it, this thing's going to come out and hit like a storm. Uh, uh, category five, you guys. This is not good. And it's on top of us right now. So I know y'all like win, Linda, win. Well, it feels close. Now I know they're kind of sitting back with this Manafort thing, kind of watching how this goes. And I don't care how bad that judge is towards the, the um, prosecutors. It, I, fe I know Manafort's going down. I can see it as clear as day. Manafort is going down. You know, could be both trials. This trial could, I don't know what's going to happen here, but there's, it, it, I definitely see Manafort going down. Okay. And this guy that's testifying against him, what's his name? Um, anyway, you know who I'm talking about. Ooh, he's got more information. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's making the FBI very comfortable. Oh, Trump is not feeling good. Let's, you guys, let's look at Trump. So tell me what, right now, what's going on with Trump? Tell me what's going on with Trump. A little check-in. So remember to always be logical when you're looking at stuff. When Hope Hicks is going on a plane, when after the Mueller investigators are on her like flies of shit, I'm telling you, she's doing that to clear something up with him or to let him know she can't, because although she's in a, in a plane with nobody else around, 
She's not wired, but I almost feel like she has no choice. Like she's doing this, but she has no choice because he's bugging her. He's bugging her. You know, he doesn't really care about anybody. I mean, she thinks he cares about her, but he does not. He, except for, I think, his daughter. Okay, so tell me about Trump. What's going on? Remember before, the cards would tell us if he was going in a good space. I said, ah, right now he's happy. Tell me what's, how's Trump doing? Ooh, not happy. He's going into the closet. He's he's being quiet. What is that? The Ten of Swords as the outcome? Hello, more shit is hitting the fans, okay? Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. This is stuff like, he, he thinks he might know what's coming up, but he doesn't. I'm going to tell you guys something, and this... This this Hope Hicks offset him. He kind of knows. I'm telling you guys, and we'll find out about this later. But I also feel um, he's he's walking in circles. He's just losing his mind. It's like he's losing his mind. But more stuff, and I'm going to tell you. I think this. I hope. I pray that tonight after these, uh, this voting with this Ohio thing, it, it, it's like if he's involved, then the people lose. I, I definitely feel like because of him, and then that guy's no help. You know, he went for Jim Jordan. Uh, yeah, he's got, got nothing bad to say about him, and a lot of mothers out there don't like that. And then he made fun of or said, you don't want to vote from somebody from such and such county, which that county is a big county. So, you know, don't piss off your own people. Don't shit where you eat. Somebody used to tell me that. It wasn't my parents because they never swore. But you just, I'm telling you, this is coming down, you guys. I am so excited. Justice will prevail. Hearts will be pro broken. Picking up the swords. He's trying to, you know, desperately. It's like he's drowning and he can't get enough air. I think, I think... Manafort is part of the reason. Go ahead. I I see that. Um, I see part of this thing with Manafort is coming up like they're going to look at that. But I also see, I think he, he may hit before September. I think he has, a, it might not be Trump, but I feel him hitting people around. Ooh. Ted Cruz is in trouble. Ted Cruz is in trouble. And that Devin Nunes is in trouble. Um, okay, go ahead. Somebody's telling me something. Hold on. There's something to do. What did he do? He, he talked about uh, the, his son, Don Jr. I'm just going to throw it. Because apparently he gave away the farm. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, he went... But, you know, people, everybody does that. Not with foreign adversaries. No, they don't. Get away the farm. Okay, let's take a look. See, This is going to be kind of short, you guys. But I'll be back. I'll do another one Friday morning. It's something to do. You know how that... You know how... Um, the attorney wrote a letter, you know, like they keep going back and forth. They think they're playing Mueller, but Mueller knows what he's doing. I almost feel like he doesn't even have to talk to Trump. I almost feel like he's going to hit on the outside of him. Like, boom, boom, boom. And so he's like, what the fuck? Oh, sorry. I said the big word. Okay. Such passion when I talk about this stuff. You talking to me? Tell me about Don Jr. Oh, it's not good, you guys. I don't see that relationship with that other girl, Weston, either. The one that used to be married to our mayor. They're all going down, you guys. Sorry. NRA's going down, too. Woohoo, you guys. 
You know, justice will prevail. What goes around comes around. And they don't have a clue. And, you, and people get nervous. Are you sure, Linda? Are you sure? Oh, my God. I can see people coming out from the ground. Yeah, you got your crazies. But you only got us so much of them. I see youngsters, new 18-year-olds going out and voting. No more. That's what I hear. No more. Um, yeah, that's it. Here's his girlfriend. She's trying to tell him everything. So, oh, 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 oh. Isolation jail. Isolation in jail, you guys. His fortune will change. And here comes Mueller. <laughs> Mueller is coming. And it's the end of it all. Um, the tower, too. Remember I told you guys. Oh, my God. Are these cards singing or what? And you know what? I didn't plan on coming out... I went and did the walk and I was looking like this and I said, yeah, I didn't, you know, I said, I'm getting on there because I could, first I could hear that I needed to throw on that O'Connor. Because, you know, I don't really know that. I did send him money, but, you know, I send money to everybody. And then I said, holy cow, he's, he's going to win. And then something told me to look at O'Rourke. And then I looked at O'Rourke, oh my God, he's going to win. And then I was getting all these little messages. I said, I better go sit down because you know when they tell me something I got to tell you guys right away otherwise I'll, I should have could have would have so oh my god this is looking so good you guys I cannot begin to tell you and the world will celebrate the world so it's not just us it's other people on the outside and I'm telling you there's people on the outside planting or wanting to do something to hurt Trump so it's very good <laughs> okay so Thank you, you guys. I just threw that out there. Um, I'll get into hurricanes and stuff next time. Y'all wanted me to double check on a, a few places. Um, is there any message before I close out that you want me to tell everybody? Oh, listen, I was going to post for my alma mater. We're doing a big football field. Um, my brother-in-law used to work for Willie Mays, and I got one of his signed baseballs donated. And I was donated a bunch of stuff, but I'm not going to be able to do my thing because if y'all want to try to win a reading, you'd be put in a pot with everything else. So what I, Tana and I are doing is we're doing it, uh, we decided we'll go ahead and do a, um, a raffle. And we'll have people buy a raffle ticket towards a free reading and then take that money and donate it towards a good cause. So... Text me or write me on this video and tell me what you're leaning towards. Should I pick the cause? Like I would go with the Sonoma County, uh, you know, all of the money will be donated towards them. Or should I let the people, like the first one will be two people will win. Should I let them pick the where they want the money donated? I don't say to you. <laughs> you know, let them pick what they want. Now, I don't like the Red Cross. I'm sorry, you guys. Because their CEOs make top brass overkill money. But take a look at, at places you would like me to donate. Or even towards a Democrat running for, for office. If you want me to donate towards that. And I donate anyway. I do donate a lot of money. So uh, if there's a cause you want me to look at. Or do you want me to do a raffle specifically for your cause. You know what I'm saying? You guys would do the... If you have a cause and they want to go do it and do their own PayPal and I just, they just pick the winner and I do the reading. I don't mind donating a reading towards a cause of some sort with a tax ID number. Okay, so y'all take care and uh, I'll talk to you Friday.